but we don't see like very often in this edition well at least I haven't been here for a while maybe six six months maybe less but this amount of water was never here like now now it makes it kind of beautiful because usually you have this dry area you saw that in my summer woods but just like this it's very beautiful now the crazy dog is here of course and we're gonna do a camping here I'm serious because we have a huge issue we have to find a way to cross on that other side because over there we're gonna have nice camp so this is gonna be a fun one so make sure you stay tuned by the way there is no eating a tree of course um, uh, let's get through on the other side come out you can see Dogo getting to this bay and we are heading, let me show you there over there so we're gonna go over here by the edge of this uh, there you go, go. Since we're going to work around the campsite here, <coughs> let me focus on myself. I remove my jacket. I don't want to be sweaty here. Uh, you can imagine how much moisture we have around. And that's not weird. Uh, when you see how much water we have in this lake, it's just humidity is really, really high. So tomorrow morning I can expect some headache, which is normal for this kind of environment. I'm not worried about that one. I'm worried about having over here almost three o'clock. We have maybe hour and a half of sunlight, a light at all, so I have to be quick regarding shelter. We have tarp today, uh, we're gonna see what we're gonna make here. I'm assuming that it's gonna be a diamond shape, because I want something very quick and very reliable. Very reliable. I want to show you what I have regarding gear because this time we have some new stuff. First of all, a uh, new thing is this self-inflating mat from a snack pack. Um, uh, we have also a sleeping bag. Let me show you real quick if I'm able to take it all out. I have my Aquafest tarp, which you have 10% off. Check the link in the description. We have Dogo sleeping bag. You saw this one before. And I have this huge, as you can see, that's pretty much it for the main compartment. Oh no, let me take off this. It is brand new, obviously. We have Snug Pack Elite 5, which means, let me give you specs here. You can read with me. Um, uh, it is comfort of minus 15 degrees Celsius. We're going to have tonight maybe, I don't know, one or two degrees Celsius. And this winter is pretty warm, not just here. You can see in the Alps, there's no snow at all. Almost no snow at all in Austria and uh, I don't know, even the Germany and Italy and Slovenia, they lack of snow. Uh, that is a huge problem. I don't know if that is weather change or whatever, but this is still, there's still some time for it, but so far, not good. So I'm gonna sleep naked inside of this, I guess. And uh, it should be huge. It is. Uh, 87 inches long, which is good, 220 centimeters in non-retarded units, 17 inches. Um, I'm not going to talk too much about the specs because I told you, at least my Patreon, that this year we're going to do some changes on the channel. Now that will contain reviews. Of course, not just reviews of the products. We're going to do comparison, for example, 
this synthetic sleeping bag versus the goose down one and all kind of stuff so make sure you stay tuned if you're new hit the subscribe button it's gonna be a fun journey so we have nice warm sleeping bag we have sleeping mat doggo sleeping bag some food tarp and that's pretty much it minimalistic right and this time Mora Garberg I guess this is the proper height here. I always have it somewhere near my neck. That way I have really, really lot of space inside of it. And we're gonna make it nice and tight, just like this. Then again, around the tree. Once again. And I always simply tie it on something like this, see this branch, which is coming out of the tree here. Simple square knots, maybe quick release one, doesn't matter. Don't get, uh, uh, don't get too upset about the knots around here. Most of the time I get questions, dude, what knot is that? How did you do that? Do whatever you can. Most of the knots, if you're not, I don't insult anybody, but if you're not dumb, you're gonna do simply square knots, it's gonna hold, okay? And for other knots, we're gonna make separate bit about that one, but all in all, however you tie it, it won't go loose. So be smart, read something, check something out, <laughs> but uh, all in all, let's check this sound out. I guess you could play a song. Uh, the great thing about being here before, we have tent pegs all around. I had here this huge TP tent. If you didn't watch that, again, that means you're not subscribed. Hit that subscribe button, hit the bell icon. Now, there are a lot of these tent pegs. That's gonna save a ton of time. I only need two more and we're done regarding the shelter. We're gonna see if we're gonna light the fire. Probably we will, small one for a night. And uh, we're gonna see if we're, we're gonna see, are we gonna have a cooked meal? We're gonna leave that for tomorrow, since we're going to be here for three days, actually two nights, because third day we're going to leave early in the morning. Now where the hell is he? Believe it or not, this power cord 
is more than a year, even two years old. I never throw it away, I never leave it anywhere. So I have this kind of small pieces and how to connect it. Also very often, frequently asked question. Basically, you get two of these. Cross them, just twist them, twist them again, square knot, pull. There you go. This way you're gonna save a ton of money on buying a park cord. There you go, we're done. Now the last thing we have to do here, we have to get our doggo to try it out. It is tradition, so. Where the hell is he? A thousand years later. There we go, good boy. You came in, wanna try it out? Where's your bed for tonight? Oh no. You like it? Boy. I just figured out that there is a ton of spruce resin on the floor. So this is the first time me seeing this kind of mat. I used to have one before, which Kyra of course destroyed. Uh, I think even, yeah, it is the same one. So it's not something new. But here we have instructions. If you're following my channel, you know that I like the instructions when you have it, even for this sleeping mat. Especially for the tents, especially for the, I don't know, whatever, you have to have Manufacturers, please put instructions. Self-inflatable, which means if we open this and we leave it, it should self-inflate. We're gonna see about that one because always you have to add some more air into it. I'm gonna leave it on my backpack. Actually, on this ridge line. Half work done. After we set the bed, we're gonna try some fishing because it is time for the fishing. And Dogo is chasing something all around. Anyway, uh, let's complete the bed. Then we're gonna try to do some, to get some fish. This sleeping bag should be nice and big. And I really like when you talk about <coughs> this kind of gadgets and gear. I like it. <laughs> nice and big well it is also tight inside oh there we go let's see oh nice this is gonna be a warm one so i guess somebody's gonna sleep naked inside of the tent i mean shelter i'm looking for more of that one can't wait to test it out I can already see that it's gonna be nice and snuggy. Do I have something else from the snug pack? Well, snuggy, snuggy, yeah. So that was a new sleeping bag. Please don't destroy it. And I want to be clean at least today. Please, can you do that? Don't go on it. But even though most of manufacturers says, oh, this is a special ops one. I didn't have that one. I had the, I guess, civilian one. Now, Snugback makes, Snugback makes gear for the Special Force and uh, for the British Army, at least for one part of it, if I did my homework good. Of course, we have to add some air. <coughs> Here's 
here you go. It is kind of a mummy shape. Let's see how big it is. Well, I'm a bit longer than the mat, and that's something I actually don't like, but uh, you have different sizes. I actually made a mistake in ordering one. But let's add some more air to it. There you go. Bye-bye clean sleeping bag. I like this sleeping bag a lot. You can see that moon is out, which means it's gonna get dark oh, any moment here. Now, this is the jacket I was talking about. We have here snug pack tomahawk, which is rated up to minus 15 as a comfort. And now can you see that on the other jackets, but this one, let me show you. There you go. So it has this declaration and it says here, uh, temperature low minus 20, temperature comfort minus 15, which means this jacket is gonna keep us nice and warm. It is a bit bigger and I don't have any problem with that one. I like to have some problems regarding this branch is coming out of the sea. And I'm gonna have a problem with my doggo. As you know, he always goes crazy when I'm going to fish. Ing. We're gonna give it a try anyway. Although, I'm not gonna put too much effort to it. Since I'm pretty tired and I can't wait to go to sleep. And we have tomorrow morning and tomorrow night. Hey! And we have we have plenty of food. I don't think so. <laughs> A level of moisture. That's pretty huge at this moment. But it's just perfect night for the fishing. Well, the thing that I fear the most, it's stuck. This is gonna be a long job. I'm trying to be quiet here, but my dog does not help that. But regarding the fishing for today, we are done. This water is a uh, very, very high and maybe 30 meters away you can usually walk normally on the grass on the ground and uh, that caused this i have the other one i mean other 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 set in my backpack but i think we're not going to use it because it's nonsense we're going to break another one <sighs> luckily enough we have a ton of food with us <sighs> done all right so it's time to go to sleep uh, we are done we have here we have actually we passed midnight, so I'm gonna slug inside and I'm gonna see you guys in a second. So for the night, we have no fire here. And there's no need to since I'm gonna be pretty warm in my new sleeping bag and this jacket is pretty awesome. So we shouldn't have a problem regarding that one. Now, nothing too interesting to see here. The dog is wandering all around. So I'm gonna get in my sleeping bag. That's it for today. I had some meal on my head. Come on. I had some meal, uh, I would say, on the go. But uh, tomorrow, tomorrow we're gonna have a fire. And we are cooking. Hey. We're going to cook 
nice meal and have some coffee which is gonna be pretty interesting i have something to show you but uh till tomorrow um uh, wanna say good night i'm gonna see you guys a bit later good boy So, good morning, guys. If we can call it good morning, since Kyra is almost, he's almost stepping my head here for the whole morning. You know, it's coming out. Of course, I was already out there. I had to film that morning, and uh, I was very, very warm. This sleeping bag, I slept just in my underwear. I mean, in my boxers, okay? That is just awesome. It is maybe a bit bigger, but the great thing about it is just you don't need anything else. And uh, of course, if you are in a maybe I don't know minus 20, you would maybe have your clothing on. But uh, for this minus one, two, three degrees Celsius, one, two, three degrees Celsius plan for today. Uh, first of all, I'm gonna have some coffee here. Then I'm gonna light a fire and have lunch since last night I had only some chocolate bars. Oh man. Last night it was just huge, huge moisture. I never seen something like that in my life. What I have here is Alden coffee machine, portable one. Now check this out. So we have here some coffee capsules, which you can use, and you can also use, of course, normal coffee, grinding coffee. Now, it is a pretty cool concept over here. I'm gonna show you in a second in detail. You get your water inside, and uh, inside here, you can put either capsule, or you can put, of course, grinding coffee or something like that. So we're gonna see how it does, and let me show you in the details for a second and usually I don't accept this kind of stuff on my channel here I don't accept gadgets and everything but this seems to be very very cool so I said just why not so let's see if it works uh, but all in all so far like this in the hand it's very very hefty which means it is nice quality so let's check it out Now this is how it looks like, you have power on button, which we're gonna press here. It is full battery. And you charge it over here using the C port, I guess. Let's see in detail, because I unboxed it just yesterday. There you go, C port, which is modern. And uh, of course you have this cup, which goes over here. You're gonna have your coffee inside. But uh, let's unscrew this. It comes also with a scoop. For the regular coffee and this adapter here is for these kind of capsules if i open it up over here I have this one so uh actually let's try first to put some coffee inside the regular one grind one but basically when you close this you put it inside of this cup screw it on turn it on and that's pretty much it so let's see how it does Now for this occasion, I don't have scoop, but uh, it's not a problem. You can see how it looks like from the inside. It has these small, nice small holes for the coffee to go through. And uh, I'm gonna just open my container with the coffee. And we're gonna simply just add inside. And of course you can do it this with the scoop. But I'm gonna use this one. I'm gonna add some more nice grounded coffee here. There we go. 
just like at your home. I'm gonna put this inside there. We're gonna grind it. Actually, we're gonna screw it on. We're gonna hold this button. That seems to be done. Now, only thing we have to do is of course, wait. Now, there's nothing better than a hot coffee. It shows first, first light, then it's gonna go through all four of them. But uh, you can actually even put it directly in your cup. But uh, since you have all in one package, we're gonna use this one. So after we're done with this, uh, with this coffee, we're gonna add also a capsule to try it out because I'm really, very really interested to see how this works. But uh, let's see. I can hear water boiling or crazy inside. And uh, right now, it just started to work. So the focus here. Man. Actually, it works. Here comes the coffee. <laughs> well, that is very, very, very interesting. Check this out. Come on. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, let me show you like this. It passed the test so far, and now we have to try out the coffee to see how it worked. But we're gonna also add that capsule, so let's see how that does. Right, there we go. We have some nice, real black coffee here. Let's try it out. Oh, that is very, very good. Now, it is nice and black, and uh, I have no sugar in it because I usually don't put sugar in my coffee. Hmm. But this is amazing invention, I have to say. So, thumbs up for this one. If you want one, uh, find the link in the description. So, that's pretty much it. No agenda, really, this is pretty good. So far, it works. It just works. Hmm. Now the question is, how much coffee can you make with one charge? Well, that one, if you want to see, let me know in the comment section. We're going to do a review on it. Or I'm going to simply put an Easter bar post. But very good. Now what is the time for? We're gonna light a fire just in front of the tree here. And uh, don't worry, we're not gonna burn it, although this burned already a little bit, but it's a really, really healthy, nice tree. So we're gonna have our fire just about here. And uh, of course, we have to keep some food. Uh, we're gonna see, we have some sausage, and what do we have there? I'll let it out. And we have some, some mac and cheese i think with some shrooms and maybe we can have that one too but all in all it's gonna be a good good and nice to have fire because we had no fire last night and if we had it that would save us a lot of this moisture and everything but i was pretty good and pretty far in my shelter inside and though we still sleeping so it's gonna be a much much easier job to collect all the firewood so I'm done with the coffee let's get to work so i'm gonna put it just or here. There we go.
there we go this bigger one actually no i'm gonna use this smaller one just to put my tinder on and uh these feather sticks we're gonna prepare already here to have it nice and steady when we get that ignition and there we go and, uh, of course every time you light the fire around remove the bark if it's wet because bark is going to slow your process a lot if it is wet of course everything done all you need to do now is get that birch bark just behind you and let's light the fire Anyway, nice sausage party again. When Cairo is included, I mean, not literally, of course, that would be pretty, pretty weird. But I can't wait to have something nice and warm, except for the chocolates and the bars. And there we go. I have just enough of the sausage, so I don't even have to cook that mac and cheese. I think I'm gonna keep be completely fine. So the first plan was to stay here until tomorrow morning, but I have to go to work tomorrow since Smrika Outdoors has fever and we work at the same same fire station, even the same shift. So asshole kind of ruined my plans here, but uh, I think it was nice, nice, good and spirit. So I'm gonna have a nice. Uh, it's almost dinner since it is 3 o'clock p.m. I had a good walk around just to get some reception to get home but uh, all in all very good what do you think Dogo? you're trying to find more? I don't think so oh, let's have this sausage they're gonna pick stuff up and uh, he's just eating the sausages just behind you Check the sausage. Stealer. Hey Dogo. Like the sausage? That's my sausage. Come on, give me. Nice and warm near this fire. So I'm gonna remove this nice warm jacket, which I don't need at this second. So I'm gonna place it just over so my dog don't oh, step on it. There we go. 
check this one out if it will focus I have there we go moment of truth let's test this out no you had more than one and I don't want to have bombing around the shelter here right no bomb tonight I mean we didn't stay in luckily <laughs> you're not gonna do that right mm, there we go that is very very good now I'm gonna repeat this process a few times because I'm very hungry then I'm gonna start to clean up the area pack up and leave let me check this out 320 times real quickly I have to get back to my car before the nightfall and uh, ready to leave Dogo okay let me pack all of this stuff and I'm gonna see you guys actually in my car and that way over there we're gonna end this with all in all very good want some more Dude, this fog is just... That's crazy. So... Let me try to film this while I drive. Anyway guys, that's pretty much it. Okay, slower, slower, slower. Dogo is back. And uh, this was a nice good adventure. We have apparently, let's see. So, let's see ambient. 2 degrees Celsius, which is not a lot, I guess. So I'm looking forward to come back home to the nice warm place. And uh, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button, comment what you think. That helps a lot. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Well, I said this 150 times exactly because I have 150 vids. So again, thanks for watching as always. I'm gonna see you next week. So have a nice one.